All right, hey guys, um, just wanted to show you something real cool with the new 1010 Music Black Box. <coughs> 1010 Music Black Box, the multi sample, uh, how it works. So I just want to go through that real quick. So, assuming everyone knows how to set up their hardware, I'm going to use the Modal Craft Synth. And I'll probably change that sound because I just sampled it. <clears throat> but here's how the new multi sample works. So you go ahead and open up a preset. So in my case, let's say the preset was, I call it Craft Synth, right? So I cro open up Craft Synth, create that as a preset, and it's a new project, right? So then I go to Info. Well, sorry, it was plain, but okay. So new project, info, multi, right? And then I select the name. Now you have to make sure that all your settings are how you want them. So for me, I have it set up so that I'm doing C2 to C6, but I'm sampling every four, one velocity, I've selected the MIDI channel as channel 14 and the length as 4 and 2. It doesn't, the manual actually doesn't explain what 4 and 2 mean, but I assume that means counts or, or beats. So 4 and 2 works fine for my purposes. I'm going to sample mono because this prefers mono, although it can do stereo, but even the Craft Synth itself is a mono device, so it doesn't make sense really to do uh, stereo, especially given the fact that this is, oh, these are only placeholder sounds. I want to be able to um, get the sketch down, the MIDI is going to be king here, and then when I want to marry that up in my DAW, I can go ahead and just go ahead and uh, track that in live using the uh, actual synthesis, because again, these are samples, so they're not going to be as accurate, especially given that I'm skipping over um, certain keys on the keyboard. But anyway, this is just to get my sketch pad up and running, so I have my, I know, let's see, I want to Let's say I don't like that sound, so I'm going to change to a different sound. So I'm going to go to this first one here. All right. F M Velope. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is go to Info. I'm sorry. Go to the name Info. I'm going to clear it. And I'm going to go to name it the same thing. F M. Velope. Base. Enter. So now I'm ready to go. So I have everything lined up. I have the name ready. It's in the right preset. My preset is, is named after my synth. Okay, so now here's how it works. Press play. Record. And it's going to go completely through the scale that I've set it to. It'll sample it 13 times, going up the, um, I'm sorry, the octaves. And I just wait for it. It takes a few minutes. It's live. But here's the thing. Um, this is so much better than the uh, 1.5.J. They've, they've, 1010 Music has done a lot to improve the sampling strategy, if you will. And so all I'm doing is using this as a sketch pad so, and to do my complete song arrangements on so I can always get the real, the better quality sounds off of this. Now check this out. This is what I like is that it's so pretty fast. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Alright, so it's done. Boom. Done, right? It's in there. 
So check this out. This is, if I, if I was just moving at my own speed here, right? I would go right back here. I'll just clear this out because there's something I'm going to tell you in a second. But let's go right back. Boom. It's already on the, let's go to um, multi again, right? Let's go to, it's already on the name. This is what I like. It stays where you last left it. So I can clear this, the name, choose a new sound. Boom, right down the chain. Hefty bass. And I just type that bad boy in. Enter. All right. And you see the response there. And I just go ahead and I go play, record. And so you go through this really fairly quickly. And this is pretty sweet for as far as workflow goes. Now, what's awesome is that I've noticed if you look at the black black, I'm um, sorry, the 1010 black black, the 1010 music uh, tutorial. Initially, you had to save, 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 save all over the place, right? You had to save the preset, and you had to save the um, file, the uh, actual sound sample folder. With the new update, I've noticed that it saves. It's going to save hefty bass. So even if the power turns off, it's actually still saved into the preset folder that I have. No, the preset is not saved. But the sample file, the multi-sample file is saved, and that's what I want. So uh, this is actually, I'm not trying to make any songs here. So saving the preset makes no difference to me. But all I'm doing is saving the preset of the of a, of the uh, craft synth sample library is all I'm doing. So let me show you after this is done what that means. So in the past, you had to let me stop it. In the past, you would have had to go um, to press. Uh, I'm sorry. You would have had to press info. And then go over to, um, I'm sorry, you would have had to go to the sound, navigate to the sound, and press file, and save. It doesn't hurt. You can do it. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Um, let me see. Let me make sure I'm doing what I'm doing here. Looking through the lens will mess me up. So hefty bass, yeah, sure, why not? You know, it can't hurt to save it, right? And then you would have to go to the preset and save the craft synth as well, right? But in this setup, how I have it now, let's go ahead and turn this off. Handy dandy power switch. Turn it back on. All right, nothing loaded, right? So it, it saved the preset. So here's what we do here, watch this. So let's say I go to load, all the signs, all the uh, samples are there. And I can go to file, load all, right? Right, and they're all there. But if you remember, I never did save anything before that. I didn't save the uh, FM envelope, but it's there. My point being, right, is that previously it used to be a really save, save here, save the preset, save the sample um, folder. But now, as long as you're, you don't consider, if you're doing multi-sampling, you're not really making a, a, a musical piece. So saving the preset doesn't make any sense. Now saving is probably encouraged by Tencent Music, but of course, but what I'm saying is it's done automatically now as soon as you have the sample in, which is pretty sweet. How about that, okay? And again, I recommend that before you start all this, when you're starting your preset um, template here, just go to preset, create a new, right? New folder and name it after the synth. So from that point on, 
Everything you do here will be associated with the synth that you're sampling. That's what I've found, because if, you, if, uh, uh, if you're doing this per project, let's say you start a song called, you know, Love Hurts or whatever, and you go ahead and sample now the, the, the uh, patch that you want, that's always going to be married to that preset. So you'll have to navigate to the song to find the pre to find the actual sound that you want. You don't you don't want to do that. Just create a preset for each synth that you have. Create an actual catalog of the synth you're sampling and then from there inside of that folder that is the synth contain all the patches that you want. This is a sweet workflow. Good job 1010 music. Good job to the forum, um, the Facebook, and the uh, Black Black the <laughs> Black Black again the Ten Ten Music Black Box forum on their website. Really well done, guys. Um, getting better by the minute here. Um, I'm gonna still put in a request for importing chords from Scalar. If I can get those MIDI sequences for chords in here, it pretty much is game over for any MPC. I don't see how. Uh, unless you're really married to the workflow of an MPC, I don't see how you would be able to compete. This thing is, you know, four inches, you know, across. You know, this is tiny. So it's a beautiful thing. It works well, well with my BeatStep Pro. And if it weren't for the fact that I wanted the names for each pre for each uh, patch from the Modalcraft synth, I wouldn't even have my laptop open, right? Because I could actually just name them as they have here, 0102050607. Zero, 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 um, zero, I could just name all my patches that, but I find it more um, understandable if you just name it after the name that uh, was given by the person that created the patch. So um, makes it easier to navigate, but there's no reason to actually have that open, the laptop, I mean. With that, wish you the best. All the best with your multi-sampling. And I'm going to just leave with this. I'm going to go do one more before we go. Right, 90s Mystic Pad. I'm going to turn this. Try and go as fast as I can. All right, guys, you got the point. And everything will be loaded up under the craft synth as a preset folder. Hope that helps. All the best. Cheers. <laughs>